Is this working? I can't see. We're all on. Why is it so? Are we? We're live and everybody's on. Hello. Oh, damn it. Wait. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Already starting on a good note. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to JU Crochet. Yeah, I'm Reggie. <laughs> and um, as you've guessed, I have a guest host today. <laughs> that was not hard to guess. Okay, um, this is uh, everything that's wrong. It is a brand new format um, that we are going to host once a month here. Um, it's going to always be on my channel. It's always going to be on a Sunday instead of your university, um, once a month instead of the regular class. So um, yeah, on that note, let me uh, bring all my co-hosts back up. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Um, you, I, I, I hope uh, that you are all familiar with those lovely ladies. Um, we have one second. <laughs> we don't have a backup chat. Now we have. Um, we have Catherine from Cat's Eye Catchers, and we have Kim from Affordably Crafty, and Mocha from Unapologetically Mocha, and all of their links are in the description box below. So if you're not yet subscribed to them, go and check them out and show them some love and uh, tell them I they sent you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, good to see you all here. Hi, hi, hi. I see that we already have uh, quite a few people here. Hello, Alice and Anvita is here and Christy and Dora and Carrie and Meredith and Ashley is here and Dee and Catherine and Samantha. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> um, this is my first time using StreamYard on my channel. So um, we might have to, you know, work out a few, um, a few wrinkles. I started hearing myself twice. Is that from mine? Hey, Debbie. No, I'm not sure. But um, if anything happens uh, during this live, this will be like a troubleshoot kind of live <laughs> where, where we get all the kicks and um, problems out. Um, glad that you uh, could all join us today. Hello, hello, hello For, to Karen from Rhode Island. Hi, hey, Karen. Your area. Yep. Um, and hello to Nadia. You have a friend from Sweden staying for the weekend. Okay, Nadia. Well, um, have fun with your friends and catch the replay tomorrow. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so today we are on a brand new format. As I was saying, it's called Everything That's Wrong. And um, once a month, we will discuss something uh, that has to do with yarn obviously um that we all hate <laughs> <laughs> yes um and today we are talking about knots knots in a yarn um i think that's something that we can all agree on that's uh, very very annoying mm -hmm. um i mean we thought we will you know start off uh slow with you guys and not go <laughs> right away to the <laughs> terrible subjects um but it will come uh and when i say terrible subjects i am talking about yarn not decapitated ducks um, <laughs> okay you all um <laughs> yes yes uh, i think there's like a delay right how much is the delay on there's stream yard between big delay. when, when i say something and, yeah it's like 30 seconds or something like that it's really not that much Okay, no, I'm wondering because of the um, of the the comments. reaction, yeah, yeah, the comments. Hi, everyone, by the way, who's saying hi? Hi, hi, hello, hi. hello, hello, hello to everyone. Hi. Hi, <laughs> um, yeah, I saw Lori. Lori posted on um on my Facebook group. She posted a picture. Uh, she was uh, up late last night studying for today's uh, <laughs> for today's <Yeah>. subject. <laughs> <laughs> I feel for you, Lauren. 
she says uh, she says that it kept her up until 2 30 a.m last night oh my <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Lori. um so hi to everyone coming in as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe down below and subscribe to the rest of the ladies their links are down below as well um and if you want to join the very special inner circle, you can do that by pushing the join button right next to the subscribe button and uh, have fun with us on the members only lives. Uh, we have a lot of fun on those two. We actually renamed <laughs> new name. Um, and I hope that uh, anyone who joins uh, will have fun with that as well. Um, Hi, Angela, the crazy poppy lady is here, and Sarit is here. Hello, and have a gojo from Scotland. Hi, That's a gojo. I love that name. Chat. Yeah. <laughs> and Lashira is here from the Netherlands. All of our. Yeah. Hey, Lashira. Uh, yeah. Um, Kath and I went to a yarn festival yesterday. I uh, uploaded a video of that uh, just a few hours ago. If you guys want to go watch that after the live. Um, see all the fun that we had um yeah so i'm sure that you guys also have uh in the chat a lot to tell us about uh how much you hate knots in your yarn <laughs> um but we're gonna just you know kick off the subject by saying uh that's something that really annoys all of us i think you, uh, we can all agree that uh, it's very annoying when you work up with a yarn and suddenly uh there's a knot in the yarn coming up that messes up your cake at some way uh either the knot itself messes up the cake or messes up your texture or you have to work it so that it will be at the back of your work if it's a work that has a back and a front you know sometimes it's annoying if it's at any side of the work um and also a lot of times it will mess up your color uh the the color length will be different because there's suddenly a knot or the most annoying knot the one that um totally messes up your colors and before the knot there's one color and after the knot comes another and um you have to work around it um there i have heard uh people say actually i think Catherine, you mentioned it yesterday as well that a lot of times if you have knots in your yarn it really messes up your color scheme you would just um fix it yourself but yeah. i think that it's annoying that we have to fix it ourselves uh, mm -hmm. i would uh definitely love to have yarns that if they do have knots in them um they don't mess up your entire work so um yeah you can share with us in the chat your stories and we're gonna share uh with you guys ours and um i think we are gonna start with kath because she has something nice to show us um an example of how a such messed up yarn can mess up your entire project yeah so your so, your stage kathleen let me it's, solo it's you oh nice wait stage. i get to solo someone for the first time oh, Woo! Second. Woo! i get my own solo Ta -da! So what, what song am i singing <laughs> okay let whatever me songs in your heart <laughs> Let me first show you. It was a cake like this. And as you can see, it's a very, very fluffy yarn. So you can also understand that frogging is not an option with this yarn. Um, this is knitted. And here on the front side, I'm going to fold it in half. On the front side, you can see this makes a very beautiful fade. And the dark gray fades into a middle, then a light gray, and the light gray fades into a beige. It's 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 really yeah. a very really very like beautiful yarn. Pretty. But then I had a knot in one of the cakes, and that's what you get. Oh. And that is extremely disappointing. That's really annoying. That I was saying before that it looks like uh, you changed the skein and just yeah. didn't like mind the color change exactly it it, yeah. it it looks like i did a really sloppy job but on the other hand i wasn't gonna throw away or even frog this large part of yarn yeah. and over it looks yeah. like not the cake but it wasn't the right way it wasn't wound the same it was it was not so the while while they were um mm. making the cake the um, it's like like reggie just described i had gray on one side and beige on the other side of the knot 
It's really mm. annoying. Well, anyhow. Well, the good thing or the bad thing is that this really didn't turn out the way I liked it. So it's basically a cat blanket now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mind. I asked them. They really don't mind. <clears throat> they like vibes. They didn't, they didn't smirk at you like... Like, seriously, woman? <laughs> That that you thing. Expect us, you expect <laughs> us to sl to sleep on such a mishap? I don't think so. You only give us the cast offs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but um, see, yeah, I I I agree with with very variegated yarns. It really bugs me. It bugs me a lot. I don't mind in solid colors. I really don't mind. Angela is saying you should sing your. I don't even know you the word. Sing your country's entrance to Eurovision. What is something? Uh, I, I don't even know what it what what, what, what it said. I don't even know the song. Eurovision was a big thing. I'm not gonna week, sing yeah, the German song. are not in Europe. Um, Sorry, Germany came in last. <laughs> Germany got exactly zero points. For zero points. The, the, the professional juries. Yes. Like, what is it? 24 countries giving points or something like that? Oh, they, I think they are more points. than 24. I, I think I, all the countries are allowed to rate even if they're not in the competition. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, Meredith, Meredith is saying, uh, the, to be honest, the the care the cats would smirk even if the even if the blanket was perfect. <laughs> no, oh. <clears throat> no, um, no, no. They like everything mommy makes. And uh, Carrie is saying that Jelly Bean would happily chew on that. <laughs> <laughs> she would eat it. Uh, Carrie also asked how you managed not to buy yarn. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> Reggie yesterday yeah oh that was very hard <laughs> that was and that and let's not talk about that that was very sad <laughs> Aww. um <sighs> Catherine is saying that she has a few cat blankets and a couple are buried in shawls that <laughs> 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 she didn't Funny. like buried in shawls I i'm sorry ashley the very first mishap pancake is always mine it's for the cook <laughs> <laughs> yes um annika is saying she had a skein once it didn't have knots but four short pieces of loose yarn in the middle oh that's annoying yeah. as well i hate that. that's weird how 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 did that like happen? if it's a yarn that's um like like a two or three Applied together and one of them like ripped in the middle and they would be loose oh i have that as well yeah that's annoying um hi francie from the netherlands yeah the netherlands ended up in 11th place last night right behind the wolves from norway who i voted for <laughs> but yeah. I, okay you gotta you, you gotta hear their song it's hilarious of course i voted for them their song goes like this before the wolves, it's that grandma give the wolf a banana. <laughs> um, you have to do the dance that goes with it. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, how did it go? It Before kind of that book. wolf give it's the no wolf, it's the grandma give the wolf a banana. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, wearing... yum, 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 yum. <laughs> They were wearing like kind of literal look yellow. Yeah, masks. they were yellow. I have no reference points. This is just hilarious. You look like you've lost your mind. <laughs> well, I want to know how many times she watched the memorized dance. <laughs> quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot. They were my favorite. Um, hi to everyone coming in. Um, I did not lose my mind yet. <laughs> um. She just watched your revision. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that happens once a year, though. It's like nothing new. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, Mocha, do you want to share with us uh, something about knots? Something naughty. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with that. 
Thank um, you for contributing to the conversation. Somebody has to be Captain Obvious. <laughs> I'll put on the hat, whatever. Um, <laughs> seriously, though. It, 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 so I'm working on a project here, and I'm lucky because where the knot is, it's not going to affect it that much. Mm-hmm. But it's still, I know it's there. So that little sticky thingy right there. Oh yeah, you have to yeah. you have to hold it a little higher. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be the top of this, but since I have that little knotty thing there, I'm gonna have to make it the bottom, which kind of makes me have to rethink this whole pattern. Ugh. Oh, so that's annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. <laughs> but again, luckily it's at the well. What was the top? Now the bottom of it. So there's but that. It- but at least the knot has the same color on both sides of it. So it's not yeah. like totally messing up the pattern. Yeah. Now the real now the other problems I've had with knots and yarn is um when they it's a cake and the knot comes undone and you don't know it's come undone mm-hmm. and you're crocheting along and then you're at the end of the yarn and you're looking at three quarters of a cake going what? <laughs> And then, in, in this case, this particular nightmare, not only did the knot come undone, the part of the yarn, the remainder, is down somewhere in the middle of the cake. Oh, no. And I can't find it. Oh. Oh, so no. I basically ripped this whole cake apart just to find the other end of the yarn. Oh, man. So I to make another knot and keep going. What a nightmare. Oh, man. So it was cake and yarn barf all at the same time. It was a fun time. Oh. Hi, Yarny Boy. Does... Hi, Ginger. Hi, Hello. Ginger. <laughs> hi, Ginger. Oh, my. Mocha, that, what a nightmare. Yeah, no, that, that does not sound like a fun that, cake. That's something that would become an, uh, a UFO in no time for me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think that I, I agree. I mean, I think that's something that if I spotted in my cake, I would be like, eh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. And then like the time when I do want to deal with that would never come. <laughs> that's I'd be why... like, oh, I feel like Nina sucks now. <laughs> yes. That's why I'm, I, I'm of the somewhat controversial thought of getting cakes and cutting them and self winding them so that I don't have those surprises. Because that's so you, you mean like when you get the cake, first cut it into the different colors? Yep. Really? Yep. That's a lot of work though. That's a I'd lot of work. I'd rather do that than dig and have the yarn bar from have to spend three hours untangling the cake. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be a question of, of what knots. takes longer. Which, what, Kath? That's a lot of extra knots. Ooh. No, not if you color control. Ooh. You work in your ends immediately, or how do you do I it? Work, I, I crochet over my ends, so. Okay. Hmm. I don't, okay, yeah, I, I don't I'm do not it. doing that anymore. I have a granny the scrap agony. where all the ends are coming out. <laughs> Alice is agreeing. She says the agony of that cake. Um, D is saying she never trusts a knot that she didn't make. Um, well, Granny D, apparently I cannot even trust the knots so, I made myself either. <laughs> I've so had what, them come and done all the time lately. But then, what do you do if you have a, a a yarn or a cake with a with um or any yarn actually with a knot in it? Do you then like cut it, make your own knot in the same yeah. place, or what do you do? Yeah, I do the magic knot, but lately I've had three or four um, that came undone. So. Ooh. Yeah, not yeah. That's not good. That's not no, funny. I don't like was that. Was it a silky yarn? No, because I always have problems with those. If it's like if it's got like any kind of sheen, I it's never a, trust a knot. It's that a very it's a very rustic wool. It should be that okay. Should be wow. Weird. You think that would been toothy enough to for the knot to stay? Yeah, because it depends on that. Like if the yarn isn't like sleek, then it, yeah. it shouldn't like. Yeah, I don't Smell. trust the really slippery yarns, but yeah, not even with the rustic one. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you're doing it wrong. 
<laughs> My yarn refused to be tied down. Probably. <laughs> I, I like I like to, to say that it's the yarn's I'm fault, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's me. <laughs> it might just be me. Jax is saying she she normally makes a new knot, so she makes her own knot. Yeah. Um, usually the knots that are in the yarn are so bulky, so crappy looking. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ashley is saying she recently had a skein of Karen Simply Soft with four knots connecting segments between nine and twelve, and her uh, twelve meters long. So in one skein, um, like very short lengths of yarn. Uh, so the like you know very often you get a, a knot. That's kind of annoying. I think it's um, I think certain companies have more. There are some companies that are like more prone to <laughs> to knots mm -hmm. um, than others, and I I feel like that should not be like I, I can it's understand not... one knot in a. It should, that not, should happen. not happen. <laughs> Especially for how much yarn has gotten more expensive lately. I'm it's, it's I'm like not into that. No, I get that. <laughs> Especially you're not like when you when you buy when you pay that much for a yarn, you want it to at least be good, right? Yeah. Okay, but can I just say one thing? Uh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will sure? shut up then. No, no. <laughs> what is the... These machines are actually still operated by a person that has to, you know, keep an eye on, I don't know, 50 or something uh, stations uh, that are winding at the same time. And so they they, they don't all, always see immediately when, when, when a uh, yarn breaks. Mm -hmm. But um, I do agree that the more expensive your yarn is, the the less, less it should happen, or not, well, like the less you should be allowed to happen. Exactly. Right. Like, and when when you buy a yarn that you already pay that much for the cake, I would assume that it went through some kind of like, cause how does it call the quality control? Quality. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then like the ones that have the knots in them, because how many? of these like have a knot in them out of like the line of of production like the ones with they can sell them as seconds maybe you yeah know? exactly that, i mean that's, if it's a very expensive yarn that's something i agree as well like if if it's a, a um an ombre or something or or a variegated and it breaks well then they should not continue with that cake they should just start over and sell them as a mill second yeah. millions exactly millions, yeah. i mean and there are companies that sell millions so yep i agree and, and um, i get it with that but i mean if, if you're it's a 300 yard skein of red yarn if you can't manage to wind that in one piece <laughs> you, yeah, gotta, so you, you might need to like re-examine what you do for a living i'm just saying <laughs> I don't mind in solid your color. Color, I really don't mind. In a solid color, I don't mind not. Yeah, I, I think um in a solid color, I would mind if it really messes up the like texture of whatever it is that you're working on. If it's a, if it's like a huge skein, it doesn't bother me. But like a regular size skein with a knot in it of a solid color, nah. I mean I can just, I can accept knots and cakes because the colors are changing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I do not want to, for instance, what I just showed you, that was one skein of that yeah. color. Yeah. yeah. Why? Who yeah. couldn't figure that out? I th and that's, like I said, that's um, the, the, the yarn companies um, saving money because otherwise they would have to throw it out. No, no, we don't throw out yarn. No. no, we sell them as Milan's. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it like keeping a, a count of the number of um, not puns we're making today? Someone should. Someone I should. should, I should have so. A bell. Um, so I'm just like uh, summarizing, summarizing a few of the comments. A lot of people say that when they get a knot in the cake, they cut it out and make their own knot. Um, and a lot of people. Uh, 
are for the magic knot. Um, and Carrie says she has bought messy bags, like super cheap yarns from the manufacturers, and and her it was her husband's job to wind it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, Lacey. And Stam is saying knots are the knots are the bane of every fiber crafter's life. Sorry. Ginger is saying everything I say naughty from here on out, I will mean naughty. <laughs> <laughs> um. Carrie's making a comment there I want to respond to. So she yeah. said that she's bought messy bags before of yarn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which basically come like with a humongous amount of knots in it. Yeah. And I did that once when I went to Webb's to their, um, where their warehouses. And I paid $5 for a bigger than a gallon Ziploc bag full of high end yarn that was a knot, knotty mess. Yeah. I found out there is a line where I will not be affordable. The amount of time <laughs> to un it does exist. I was like, you know what? My so there is a lot. <laughs> not cheap anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not that cheap. <laughs> I don't care how cheap you were. <laughs> Things I, never doing it again. Not worth it. Nope. Nope. Not worth it. Too many knots. Nope. My time is valuable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so congratulations. I just. Spent five dollars on the uh, cat toy. Here you go. Most expensive garbage <laughs> you ever produced. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you can also you can always use it to stuff amigurumis. <laughs> That's true too. Most expensive stuffing you've ever bought. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, uh, uh, let's address some of the companies. So, uh, Catherine is saying some companies won't admit that they sell seconds. Uh, she says she's purchased Lion Brands yarn from Craftsy and they were loaded with knots. I asked if they buy seconds and they would never answer. So, it could be you know that the website bought seconds from Lion Brand, then sold it and didn't disclose that uh, they were seconds that's kind of a, that's really annoying like that's especially if they if what? they sold it in regular price yep i'll be um, right um hmm? oh, okay be right back yeah that's also um just what what just uh says um she uses it becomes stuffing or shorter lengths that i can use for rug hooking that's also an option yeah I mean, if you if you do that, if you are a rug maker, yes, of course. <laughs> give, give Mocha her Captain Obvious hat yeah. back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not trying to like, you know, overtake your position. Please no, just like, you know, <laughs> pointing out. Pointing out something very obvious, that's all. Um, <laughs> um, Ashley is saying her ADHD superpower is extreme hyper focus, so she actually enjoyed undoing yarn barf, especially undoing multiple skeins from each other. But she also has time blindness, so eight hours on the same skein. <laughs> sure, um, I think we should start sending our <laughs> messy yarn, like whatever hey, we. Actually, I have yeah. stuff for you, <laughs> Ashley. Like I got yeah. something for you. <laughs> I have a treat. She just created a new career for herself. <laughs> totally, totally. Like I, I can totally see that picking up as a startup right like people will send you their yarn like yeah, you untangle this you can't you be searching by the hour seems like a good idea to me that i i see i see a million dollar idea there mm -hmm. um 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesse said, no, I did not mean that it's crazy to make rugs. I just said that would not be a solution to someone who doesn't. <laughs> um, Reggie, you deal in yarn that is a um, dopamine <laughs> inducer. Does that qualify you as a drug dealer? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Arrest me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I admit. Well, you've been my fiber enabler. Wow, I can't even talk. Fiber enabler for several years now. So I do pretty much a tribute part of my addiction to you. So I I have to second that drug dealer. I, ta- I, I will take the blame. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday i was reggie's yarn disabler oh yeah <laughs> did you have to rustle it to the ground did you have to like what happened no but i had to tell her many many times you are not allowed to, to buy yarn <laughs> it's yes. like you know, it's a day of torture right um I yes by torturing yourself it was a, a a chinese torture of a kind i must say <laughs> Very outing. Here is all that yarn that you it's... cannot have. <laughs> so uh. Let's tour <laughs> this enormous warehouse full of gorgeous yarn, none of which you are allowed to buy. <laughs> it's like walking back by a, a bakery when you're on a diet. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Um, Kim is the is the snorter, Jess. <laughs> okay, sorry, no, not sorry. That's just how, that's just how I laugh when it's really funny. You know, you Jess is re- saying she's also a snorter. That's why she was asking. <laughs> and uh, Lacey Lacey says just buy. She's saying my you know my my catchphrase just buy the damn yarn. <laughs> oh, Debbie, I'm not saying she didn't buy any yarn. I did buy. <laughs> some yarn then you just have to ship the damn yarn which is damn exactly (laughs) um someone was uh saying on the comments on the video that i read earlier i don't remember who it was but someone was saying um you can just like instead of not buying yarn like get rid of some pants and then (laughs) (laughs) and you could just crochet some pants i mean yeah like Walk we'll we'll around naked yarn. and ship all the yarn. <laughs> yeah, like instead of buying it or, or taking a coat, just like put the yarn into your hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I'm six months pregnant with twins. <laughs> <laughs> you get a fake belly and you stuff it with yarn. I'm waiting. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny <laughs> to see you walk through the X-ray machine. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> He's smuggling. <laughs> Let's take the hooks out first. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the roving was fantastic. I bought some. Um, Jana is saying the video was so much fun. The music was misleading. If she didn't know better, <laughs> she thought that you were yarn shopping in Texas. <laughs> I told you it had this old Western vibe thing. So in in the video, you don't see it because we I put the music over it. But in the first, when we just walked into the uh, to the to the uh, this industrial park where the yarn festival is in, and we saw like all the all these rusted, you know, kind of what were the silos like, and. And Catherine was saying, and you can actually, like, when the video is not muted, um, you can hear her say it. And she was, like, going, nah, wah, wah, wah. I actually started with a, and then Reggie just fell in, like, (laughs) (laughs) this is uh, Merino. 62 and a half percent merino and then um oh 12 and a half percent alpaca and 12 and a half percent or something no 25 percent viscose 
But I don't know what viscose is from, if it's bamboo or wood or sugar cane, I don't know. And it is so pretty. I had a really hard time choosing. Oh, that is pretty. So much beautiful roving. And I saw all kinds of fiber. We, we really, really, um, all kinds of fiber. <laughs> the longest hank I've ever seen in my life. What? It's a long hank. It's, it's not it's hank. A, no, it's just fiber, it's, uh, for, spinning. It's just it's fiber for spinning. And it's, ah, okay. um, it's braided because it would be very, very long otherwise. Um, let me just undo a little bit. Normally you can just pull it and it will undo. See? And it's uh, okay. just it's just a fiber. Ah. Hmm. And what you do is you you pull or draw as it's as it's called. You pull the fiber open and out, and the spinning wheel will twist it while you pull, and that's how you make thread. What kind of spinning wheel do you use, Kath? I have a very antique looking one, mm -hmm. <coughs> and it works perfectly. Um, I was. Um, Go the ahead. one at the museum is a louette. Oh. And yeah, but I have a hard time have making it spin at my speed. Oh. I like my my crazy one better. <laughs> I like my 30 euro one better than the 500 euro one. <laughs> oh. When Lacey I was... says uh, you got to show them you got to show it when it's spun. And yes. I yeah, I will. I will. I will spin it. Absolutely will spin it. When I was at the Fiber Festival of New England, I got to try an electronic spinning thing. Uh, I want one of those. How little is that? Tiny thing that sits on the table. Oh my yeah. god! I was like, the next time I get some income that's disposable, I want one of these. I'm like, the whole reason I don't have a spinning wheel is because I have it's no place for it. Right? Like, oh How god. much do they cost? I the like, little ones. Away, and the kids won't touch it. I was like, what? <laughs> How much do the little ones cost? Um, the one that I saw, I think was like 300 bucks. Yeah. It's, it's like a quarter or something from a spinning wheel. It's uh, crazy. Hmm. Hmm. But I was just and like, oh my God, I, I just never thought I could even have one because of space concerns. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, hold on. I'm going to go get mine. Okay. Just a second. Mm-hmm. Maybe, Anna. yeah, so in the meantime, Kim, you can tell us your naughty story. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I don't have anything to show, though, so you don't need to solo That's me. That's fine. Because I didn't, I didn't know about that until, like, 40 minutes ago. That's fine. I don't have anything to show either, because <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so one of my worst not experiences ever, outside of my messy bag that I'll never, ever buy again, not worth it, um, was I had gotten a... Um, ombre super saver ombre and on that one skein of yarn i had eight knots in it oh my god and every time i had the knot it was like automatic color change yeah so it, was, it doesn't look like an ombre anymore i can't even like i was making um a shawl with it and i'm like i, I can't even use this so i ended up cutting out like that whole part of i just didn't use that skein for that and end up using it to like stuff something with or whatever later. Yeah. I was like, that's horrendous because the whole reason you buy that is for those color changes. Exactly. That's like, I think personally, <laughs> that's what annoys me the most about knots in a, mm -hmm. in a color changing yes. yarn that you buy the yarn for the color change. So like, like, you know, are frustrating. They have a, a mill ends and seconds program. Like how did that not get put to the, mill ends like I'm yeah because i don't mind buying mill ends as long as they're labeled as that because i know what i'm getting exactly Plus, paying, like near regular price for it you know exactly that's what i think i i mean i totally mm -hmm. agree i totally agree mm -hmm. I, I feel like if like if the yarn is not usable they should mm -hmm. or is not up to standard they should sell it as seconds they do sell seconds i mean oh, most yeah. of the yarn companies do mm -hmm. Um, even Hobie has their like mystery bags, which most of, by the way, a lot of the stuff that you get in Hobie's mystery bags are seconds. Just so you like, if you buy one, know in advance, but that's like, that's the thing. Uh, they, yeah. the companies do, do, do that. Mm -hmm. Do, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy a seconds or a million and I knew what it was ahead of time. I wouldn't be buying an ombre. 
exactly exactly problems like, yeah yeah so um that's my worst once game not experience <laughs> Yeah, Mary is saying it's like the manufacturer does not understand why you want the ombre. It's like you bought an ombre. Wait, do you actually expect this to be? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, you wanted specific color changing. We're doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's um, your girl's opinion on those cakes that don't actually fade into the colors? Don't fade into each other, but they did just. Cut our solid colors cut and then knotted together. I hate that. I really, really hate that. I mean, that's but you know what you're buying. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, if but you that... don't know, it's the biggest disappointment ever. I already answered that. <laughs> yeah, you, you. No, but my, that's my point. I mean, in that case, I can just buy skeins. Mm. No, because I have to do the, the 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 cake. But mm -hmm. yeah, but then what? you. Sorry. Go ahead, Reggie. We're probably gonna say the same thing anyway. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say like it's the same like those toilet seat yarns that that you're like. Hmm. <laughs> if I wanted to do the color changing oh, myself, no. I would buy oh, separate skeins. You mean the ones that are like a dollar eighty seven at a certain store right now? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I assume Ooh. because I have no clue. <laughs> Yes, There's a certain a store that has a female name. Uh huh. They are a dollar eighty-seven a piece. Oh, so what if you were looking for a, 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 my bargain antennas went off. What's a dollar eighty-seven? <laughs> she hates the that toilet seat yarn that Reggie's <laughs> talking about. Okay, <laughs> toilet seat yarns. Okay. So, oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy any of those either. I went. Oh, this is. I'm not supporting your um not practical packaging yes even for a dollar 87 it's a stupid gonna, idea are we uh, gonna find a second um limit to affordability here's the problem <laughs> you can get the same exact yarn and skein for more yardage and less money a lot of times when they're on yeah sale. it's not like well, they're yeah, different yarns it's not yarns you can get not in that <laughs> packaging yeah, it's five colors, and the whole toilet seat is not even 300 yards. I will die on this damn hill of stop with the gimmicky packaging. I felt the same about the bobbins from Premier. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. What? So it can take up a humongous amount of space in my in my thing, and I'm paying more for the same amount of yardage? Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I mean, the I, I, so, a few weeks ago, I said on someone's chat that I like someone was saying that they are, are on sale, and I would and I said I wouldn't even take them for free. Like if they would give them to me, I would be like, I don't want that. I probably um, take them for free because then I'm not giving the money to them. <laughs> no, but then, <laughs> then I thought about it. I might have taken them for free if I needed like um like a neck cushion in a bus. <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> but Kim, technically though. If you bought the toilet seat yarn, you're not giving them the money because they already got their money because the store where you're getting it paid for it. I don't want to show in the algorithm that they're popular, so I will not buy them because I don't want to give them more <laughs> just to make more of these ridiculous things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I decapitated the duck. <laughs> oh, yes. no. Putting hairs, oh, or putting yarns, putting fibers. But okay. No, don't decapitate the duck. I'm sorry. There it is. He's back in one piece. I'm not sure you're allowed to show decapitation of stuff on YouTube. He's back so. in one piece. Okay, thank you. He's safe again. Well, from um, my shoulders in one piece. Oh, Jack. Lacey, uh, we were talking about toilet seat yarn. Oh, that's neat. This Jack is my that is really nice. She it's an oak her. one. Oops, sorry. Jack what? Said, nope. Me? Can't see you. Jack had a similar ombre story. I sent a pic and they sent me a new skein. Oh, I probably should have done that. That that's nice of them that they did, but I have had experience with companies that um told me um we are up to a certain amount of knots in our yarn is acceptable by us. So like you know What's the number? Go fudge. Hmm? What was the number? 
Um, I think it was like up to th um, three knots in a certain yes. amount of meters, um, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I think it's about three three knots on 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 a on a hundred gram. Oh. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Hmm. I think we talk to the same company. Yes, it is like <laughs> one knot per one hundred grams or something weird like that, or not one hundred grams, one hundred meter. How much on yards? Say? Yes, thank you. Yeah, wow. No <laughs> <laughs> With all the Europeans and Americans here in a chat, it's so hard to keep all of our <laughs> measuring together. <laughs> yeah, What's sorry, yours? we don't we don't speak imperial. No. Uh -huh. Is it imperial or imp? What? What? I don't speak imperial. Don't That's why I have a chart. <laughs> Any American that says they, they speak Imperial and that they understand the conversions are lying to you. They have a chart sitting next to them that they're looking for, or they're picking up their iPhone and going, hey, Siri. Oh, my. Look at Have a Gojo's comment there. Wait. Oh. Okay. All right. She's Thank saying, I, ha I had some Sultan from Hobie and a whole section of color change was missing. Catherine, I was telling you about that yesterday, right? Um, but I connect them as uh, as they a voucher and free. Yeah, exactly. So I was just telling the same story to Catherine yesterday. Oh. I had the same problem with the Sultan from Hobie. Oh, I mean, the cake that I bought, it was before it was called Sultan. It was like still the, the Cotton King Swirls Deluxe or something uh -huh. like that. And um, a whole section was missing. Like suddenly from a four thread yarn it became a three and i was like what's like what happened here the color change completely messed up because that's the whole point in those cakes that's how they gradiate the colors every time one strand changes colors yeah and when suddenly that one strand is gone you're like and you see the kind of shawls i make with that cake yeah. so coming across something like that in that kind of project is like aye, aye, aye. I'm not going to restart that and no. I'm going to have that color fudge the whole no. way through. Plus when you're doing a shawl like that, that's not like a little bit of time it takes to get. Yeah, that. exactly. That's a, that's a large time investment. You know yeah. what we should do? Hmm? Send them our whips and say, here, you frog it. <laughs> <laughs> no, or like, don't sell me a new cake. Send me a shawl that's already made up to that point. And I will come <laughs> see that from there. I'll give you my pattern for free. If you <laughs> yes. Here's here's the pattern. Work up the cake up to this point where I was. Then send it to me. <laughs> see, that would that would maybe be helpful. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. Lacey, what are you saying? What have you been drinking? Ah! Isela is saying she's a yarn collector, but her museum only has one Karen Ogo. That's all it needs. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, MoMA has a, a Fiat Multipla. <laughs> it's a piece of art, and that's all it is. <laughs> oh, is that a car? Yeah, the one with the bump in the on the... On the hood, it oh. had like, it had like a, a, a hump, and then <laughs> like, Ashley saying, "Yeah, tell him here's the gauge. I crochet loosely. Good day, sir." <laughs> <laughs> hey, cat! <laughs> hey, cat! Hello, <laughs> cat from Little Vicious Dishes here. Go check her out too. She has wonderful yarn. I don't understand why you're not showing at those. Bears, Catherine. I mean, we should go there to visit you when you show, and not like <laughs> you come with us. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a good point, Jenna. <laughs> Jenna is saying if they can't wind their their yarn right, I wouldn't trust them to crochet the shawl. <laughs> yeah, good point there. Yeah, good point. yeah, yeah. Yes. What are you guys all drinking? Okay. I have a Israeli beer today. I'm getting ready for my move. <laughs> I had a Belgian beer. Oh my god, you drank that already. Uh, I have a cheap hey, how about you make me sound like a drunk? 
I have a cheap red box wine with a Portuguese Samal in it to make it a cheap sangria. We love the cheap sangria. Yay. <laughs> but where's the fruit? I didn't have any effing fruit, so it just is that. Sorry. That's what <laughs> I haven't really been out of the house because the kids have been sick and then Steve came home, you know, sick. sick. So. Reggie or might have some bananas. I, may, I don't have <laughs> bananas. What do you have, Mocha? American honey and peach and cranberry. Tea? No, American honey. What bourbon. is American honey? Oh, bourbon. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Respect. Bourbon rich peach and cranberry. That Respect. sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. It's delicious. That, that sounds, sounds delicious. Awesome. I mean, I, I, would, I don't like bourbon, but it sounds good. Um, we don't condone day drinking on this channel, but we are, everyone on my panel has to be on Berlin time, so they are good. <laughs> don't judge me because I'm not in your time zone. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's That's after no. It's afternoon <laughs> here. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> don't think um, I won't have a mimosa with my brunch at 10 a.m. Come on now. <laughs> I, I mimosas mean, are such a... Preach such a <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Huh? What'd you say about mimosas, Kath? It's a waste of good champagne. Oh. I love mimosas. I'm getting a nice, a nice alcoholic kick and my vitamin C. I'll, I'll have <laughs> a mimosa. I'll have a mimosa any day in two separate glasses. It has oh. vitamins in it. It's, it's... Oh, that's awesome. So, Alice, you are doing what tonight? Redecorating? Redecorating? That might, that might be a typo. She, uh, she says redecorating requires sobriety, but I think she might not be sober, so it came out as something completely <laughs> different. Um, oh boy. Alice, many, many painters and other artists would disagree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> She's having chocolate. Where do you get your chocolate from? Um, what is chocolate? Chocolate is a Israeli brand for chocolate milk, like to make chocolate, like instant chocolate milk. Oh, um, like powder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> funny. <laughs> Ashley's saying tea? No, bourbon. <laughs> That's how we roll <laughs> in this channel. <laughs> also, Mocha said it with a face like. Are you serious? Dude, no. Dude, no. <laughs> Look, I understood the assignment, okay? <laughs> but I'm not judging you. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody is going to be is going to want to be on our panel so they can day drink. <laughs> so they can day drink and, and it will be fine. Like <laughs> Hashtag Reggie made me do it. <laughs> okay, I can't. I got Mocha spinning her bourbon. <laughs> Don't waste your alcohol. Oh, yeah. It was a close call, but I pulled it back. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Lord. Don't choke. <laughs> that would be a live to, to rewatch. <laughs> uh, um. Oh, Kat is having a red think, wine from southern Germany. That's so I don't think I ever had German red wine. White wine, yes. I like the the Mosel uh, I wines. love the white wine from the Mosel, yeah. Yeah, I I do. I love a good Riesling or a, a Gewurz. I mean, uh, Alice says Reggie always makes me do it. Yeah. Exactly. That's the hashtag. It's it's been used, Ashley. It's been used. It actually has been used. And really funny that this act that hashtag actually has search results. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm not shocked um, at all. Yeah. So I want to hear some uh, naughty stories from our uh, audience. So um, you know, hit us with your. I hate this yarn stories. Um, I, I want to hear, Lori, about uh, what you've been dealing with last night. Cheers, Debbie, by the way. <laughs> Cheers, Debbie. Okay, my, my beer, unfortunately, turned into sparkling water. Oh. Because ah. otherwise, I have yeah. to go downstairs to the fridge. <laughs> you turn... 
you you got it wrong. Like the the yeah, miracle is to turn Jesus. water That's into backwards. alcohol, not the <laughs> the other way around. It's a reverse Jesus. I did <laughs> reverse <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think you have beer and then you go and take a drink and it's sparkling water. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that is annoying. That would like really disappoint me. <laughs> that would be a bummer. Yeah, Alice, but then I have to go downstairs, get a bottle of beer. <laughs> Don't you have like a bell that you can like... Yeah, and who's going to bring it to me? The cats? Michel, is he not home? Yeah, no, he's not. Ah. He's not available. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have a fridge right there in front of me, so I have two fridges in my house. Yeah. So grab a beer for Catherine. <laughs> Wait. It's, it's it's really not helpful, Kim. <laughs> sorry. Not yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> My fridge is 10 paces from me, too, so. No, but seriously, okay, I can make a cup of tea. <laughs> I can make a cup of tea or I can have a bottle of, I can have a glass of water. <laughs> it's called a mini fridge. I feel like we need to, like, standardize having a mini fridge in the craft room, right? Oh, like, no, I have a full-size Okay, size. after the move. You have a full-size fridge. No, hold on. Just a little bit about my house. So I'm in southeastern Mass. So when you get a raised ranch in this area, there's usually two full kitchens. Yeah. <laughs> I literally have a kitchen right in front of me. Really? And a kitchen upstairs. And that the only thing I usually do in that kitchen is dye yarn. But follow-up question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see the look on your face are like, ah, it's not going to do that. <laughs> How about why? Face? <laughs> How about what? What? Why is it like normal to have two kitchens? Okay, don't judge. Ready? Um, Portuguese uh, like to use the upstairs kitchen as being always clean and never used, and they actually eat and cook downstairs. <laughs> Not kidding. Is that a museum room? Upstairs is. So there's like a, 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 a for sure 14. kitchen. That's not what I do. I cook and do everything upstairs and then downstairs. No, I, I I well, get it. It's like two kitchens. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So. I <laughs> <laughs> Confused face. Take two. <laughs> I'd ask a question. <laughs> I just don't... I'm sorry. It's like those like um, celebrity houses that, you know, you go see the celebrity and, and they say, show their enormous kitchen, which is like 100% never used. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they never cook in there. So, so that, but for like regular people. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> yep. Okay. Or I could, there's a door. Uh, here's another oddity about my house. When you go to the bottom of my stairs, there's a door. Oh, okay. no. Um, my grandparents' house had that. No, yeah. because what they did is they had downstairs is where the owners lived, and upstairs is where their daughter lived with their son. So uh, you literally okay. can have, like, an Two apartment. Two separate. Upstairs. Okay. You can. Yeah, it goes all over here. You know. But that's not the reason it's made like this. That's the reason. Weirdo reason. Sorry. So basically, all I do is die in here. So I have all my pots that I don't use with real food down here. That's very useful for a yarn dyer, though. I know, I mean, but I'm not a pro yarn dyer. I just do it for fun sometimes. Yet. Yeah, but I, I can imagine that is very convenient and easier than a bathroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I have a shower, a stand-up shower over right here that nobody ever uses. And what I put in there is I put the drying rack. Ah, <laughs> that's good. So, so it, it can dry in there. It's the whole system. <laughs> that's, nobody ever uses those two areas. <laughs> Um, Cheryl is saying she opened a skein from Knit Picks that had alpaca in it. Winding halfway through the skein was almost felted. Ew. Totally clumped together. Uh, they did send her a new one, but that was a mess trying to cake it up. That is annoying. That's awful. Yeah, I can, I can see what that would be very annoying. Mm -mm. Um, bunch of chat. Wait. Wait, who has a ice machine? An ice machine? I don't have You're an ice machine. I was saying something about an ice machine. I, I have ice trays. I'm just a slacker like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate oh, filling ice, ice trays. I buy ice. I'm, I'm just that lazy. <laughs> oh. I do both. I have an ice machine in my fridge, but I also buy ice. 
That's how much ice we use around here. See, Sylvia? Yeah. Hello, I'm Portuguese, and that's normal. Yeah, I read that. She See? she totally second you. Back me up um, here. I'm not Portuguese. Lori said uh, her naughty issue was her own fault. Oh, okay. So you can't, can't blame the yarn companies. Oh, shucks. <laughs> um, what? Should have not moved the cake or been putting toilet paper rolls in the middle as you used it. Oh, yeah. The case of the collapsed cake. I know that. I know Ooh. that should be a mystery book. <laughs> That's the, the Karen anniversary cakes. Oh, I hate those. Don't pull from the middle. You will regret it. <laughs> Kim's face. <laughs> you, you know why? You know what? I, why I hate Karen anniversary cakes? Because they're what? Um, I, I obviously never had one. Yeah, because you know. But how do you, so? Karen anniversary cakes is another. Um, is another gimmick in my personal opinion as someone who cannot buy it you know i feel like it's <laughs> they could have made it a standard right like yarn cakes in that oh, but they wound it so loosely to make it bigger yes yeah um uh -huh. and because they wound it so loosely to make it bigger then the cakes collapse obviously plus they are unreasonably sized to be a cake. Of course they will collapse if you pull them from the middle. Like it's too too high, you know? I mean a normal yarn cake is about this high mm -hmm. and then like something that's this high when you pull it for it's the same like with if you pull a a one of the Hobie um what are they called the big the the hmm? Oh man, the name ex escapes me now. The Hobie Big Balls. Big Balls. Big, ball. big, big ball. Balls of Hobie. <laughs> big balls. Goodness, Goodness gracious. Big, big balls. balls of. Yeah. Um, if you pull those from the middle, they will collapse on themselves as well. Like, like the... It's anatomically incorrect. Big balls. Incorrect. That is a big ball. That is a big ball. <laughs> Balls. Balls. Okay, who watches Supernatural? There's a the show Supernatural. Yeah, yeah. There's the the. Why can I? Oh my god, I can't remember his name now. And he, Ooh, that's a big ball. And he says balls. I love when he says balls. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes me want to say balls. <laughs> No. Every time they say, you say balls. I say, when I say balls, you say balls. Balls. You balls. didn't say balls. <laughs> balls. No, not balls. Dean. Oh, balls. come on. Balls. Not Dean. Come on, Ginger, are you here? Help us out. Billy. Is it Billy? Sam? No. Bobby? Bobby. Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bobby says balls. And he said idiots. <laughs> He's also saying he it says idiots. Yeah. Idiots and balls. <laughs> Ginger lives in the town that they're from. Oh, Alice really? had Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah, she lives in the town that they're from. <laughs> from. Did their house really burned down? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Alice is saying this should be a drinking game that every time someone says balls, everyone drinks. Today it should have been every time somebody said the word not, can yeah. Not or Where not. are all your naughty jokes, guys? I have naughty, naughty jokes already. I know, I know. You came prepared. You, you did your homework. How about not not jokes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mocha. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, knock knock. <laughs> Seriously, knock knock. Yeah. Who's there? I don't have any. <laughs> okay, one more time. Knock knock. Who's no there? Who's there? Oh no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to open the door. And stay outside. <laughs> knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? No, you ruined my joke. I'm not knock knocking yours. Okay, <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Ogo. Ogo who? 
Oh no, I lost the joke. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh go. Oh go who? Oh, oh go, go away. away. Yeah. Oh go. <laughs> oh go throw away this naughty skein. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no way. <laughs> they kill me. Oh, oh go away. That's oh, a good one. <laughs> ah. Oh boy. Alice is saying she's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having oh. this. Oh. Lacey, I want those stickers. <laughs> Lacey <laughs> has the balls oh. and the idiot stickers. <laughs> Mocha, what does your shirt say? Asked Debbie. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but underneath the knot it says Rosa Parks, <laughs> 1955. Okay. Nah. Alice, <laughs> the jokes have sagged tonight. The jokes have sagged. <laughs> <sighs> DB is saying you should make a naughty or a nice list for Christmas in July. Naughty or nice? <laughs> With all the we can grade the yarns. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty or nice? That's gonna be a yarn company roast if that's what we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the one yarn company who should not be named that we are all thinking about that always have not in their yarn. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, the one I just played well, wasn't that company. So, <clears throat> oh well, yeah. So there, there are other there. companies with knots in their yarns. Of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all have not. Um, Lacey saying, Catherine, you should look on Amanda Knit's website. That's where you uh, get the. Yeah, she had that supernatural um, yarn club. club. Yeah. Oh, allergies. How many people in the chat will know the difference between not and not if they didn't have spell check? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, come on. That'd be nice to the people in the chat. Yeah. I'm so happy I'm not in the chat today. I would have felt totally... Uh, um, Tangled? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby, I've been on clearance for $19.99 for like four months now. They won't drop them off 50%. It's very annoying. Who? The what? anniversary cakes from the last. Michael's time. had the anniversary cakes on clearance for nineteen ninety nine. It's been like four months now. They need to get that together because I need mystery boxes that have yarn in it, please. Am I the only person that is not gaga <laughs> over anniversary cake? <laughs> me? You read no, that me. comment. Not in certain balls. Means not in certain balls with no oh, need for nurseries <laughs> could mean another room for more balls of yarn true Stella, that's funny <laughs> it's funny it's lighting, it's I guess. <laughs> yes exactly the Voldemort of yarn companies <laughs> <laughs> from now on whenever we talk when, when we talk about that company we say, we can say I bought this yarn from Voldemort <laughs> that's supposed to say his name <laughs> hey we don't fear him we don't fear him alright Gryffindor calm it down I, I didn't a... call anyone stupid the, <laughs> I was reading someone else's <laughs> what? comment yeah, that's easy. Just say that you didn't say it, but you said it anyway. That's how people make me say things. They put words in my mouth, yeah. you know. <laughs> they write it in the chat. I gotta read it. You are also innocent and stuff. Yeah. And then I got and you know. I think of. <laughs> ah, looks can be so deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I put on my glasses today, so I look very... Not Studious? naughty. Studious? I look you very look naughty. Unnaughty. <laughs> like I wanna, I wanna give you a, a teacher's uh, what you call it? Teachers, Flip. yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is an is that a spindle, spindle or ah oh, no, no, it's, it's a an pencil. 
Oh, it's okay. a 10 millimeter knitting needle. Ah, oh, right. okay. No, it's a nine, sorry. Hmm. It's um, the perfect length to grab the little... I have the... Um, I don't know what you call that. Container storages um, lined up against the wall and I can just pull them out without having to lean over my desk. <laughs> it's very, very useful. It enables my laziness. Craft room with <laughs> tips by Kath. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> One mini fridge. Two. <laughs> Actually, someone said mini fridge in the walk-in closet. Now that is a good idea. In the in the in the walk-in closet? Room. A mini fridge in the dressing room in the walk-in closet in the But then you would just end up sitting there drinking beer. Exactly, trying on shoes and drinking beer. How fast do you drink your beer that you have to sit next to the fridge? <laughs> hmm? Lacey's saying, is that a spindle or are you happy to see me? <laughs> is that a spindle or are you happy to see me? Oh, that is a very disappointing spindle, Lacey. Akeem has the biggest balls of them all, says Dylan. <laughs> I used to have bigger ones, but I gave them away. You gave away your big <laughs> balls. I did. So you're castrated. <laughs> I used to have four monster balls in my yarn archives, and I gave them away. Oh. Hey, Ashley. But the joke was on her because I am a Gryffindor. I know you're. I said it. <laughs> no, Ashley said that you're the only one who can make <laughs> Gryffindor sound like Bozo the Clown. <laughs> That's okay, because I'm not a Gryffindor. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm just sitting here working away. What? The Germans prefer their beer warm? Hell no, that's the British. We like our, cold, our, our beer ice cold. With lots and lots of condensation. Yes. <laughs> I could never disappoint? What do you mean? Ooh. Why would I disappoint? Because Alice says uh, she hopes she would not disappoint as an uh, when she makes an appearance on the panel. She thinks Why she's more of a smart ass when she's on the keyboard. <laughs> she's a smart ass anyhow. <laughs> uh. Steven, um, um, Alice, yeah, you're Irish. Of course, you you drink your beer cold. <laughs> I said because it's cold in Ireland all the time. Like even if you don't put it in the fridge, it's cold. Well, it's not much warmer in England, is it? it no. <laughs> Isn't that the, the thing like um, mm -hmm. the joke Americans like to make that uh, the the Brits uh, drink their warm their their water and their beer warm and flat? I don't make that joke, but I don't represent all Americans. That's yeah, a good thing you don't. <laughs> you don't call anything. Imagine that. That would be such a that you would know be what's a funny. burden to bear. You know what's fun? I can say um, us Germans. Yeah, <laughs> now you can. Yes, now you officially can. Not, now I can. Part. Yay! I'm legal. Bye. Us Germans, <laughs> we like our. <laughs> yes. I'm legal, I'm leaving, and you'll have to let me back in if I ever come back. <laughs> you'll True. have to. No, you have You're to. stuck with me now. <laughs> they say I, I am now a part of the German nation. Well. I can get elected. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did you see that evil look in her eyes? Oh, no, it's the yarn tatorship. It's coming. Uh, <laughs> yarn tatorship. <laughs> Oh my god. A chicken god. in every pot and a yarn ball in every bowl. <laughs> Reggie's campaign pledge. Oh my god. Hey, it's Lacey, that's how I drink my tea, and I'm not from England. They drink their tea warm and unsweetened. I also drink tea warm and unsweetened. I drink cold unsweetened. Oh, wait, was that a like a sweet tea joke? Because I'm not from the South. I don't know if you knew that about me, but my she's accent from, kind of. She's from you know. Florida, she. Um, but I, I, I think she was referring to actual, you know, tea, the beverage you drink hot, not the iced tea. She's from the South, so she might be talking about sweet tea, though. 
She's probably talking about sweet tea. Yes, Debbie, I am. I am now. I am now German. <laughs> Actually, that's a record that will stand forever. I don't think anyone can can break that. <laughs> yeah. Better yarn tater ship than yarn tater salad. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like it would be very very hairy oh yes that does not sound but tasty plenty of fiber <laughs> <laughs> reggie's next pattern is going to be yarn tater tots <laughs> yarn tater tots with like i don't know maybe like some like people mustache coming off the front or something <laughs> But wouldn't that go well with the naughty salad we were supposed to be making a couple of months ago? The, the evil mustache does not go like this. It kid. goes like it this. Goes like this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Miss German. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but wouldn't I know that because German... I'm a jerk. <laughs> Us Germans, milk we grow our mustache other ways. <laughs> But seriously, wouldn't the yarn tater tots go with the naughty yarn salad that we've been making or planning to make for months? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that would be awesome. naughty broccoli. Yes, yes. Oh, my, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the porn that was, um, My My uh, mm. promiscuous carrots. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, coming. Um, it's coming along with I the pinnacle. Where do you store those carrots, Reggie? <laughs> the promiscuous. <laughs> store the carrots in a nice, warm, moist place. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you store your carrots in a moist and warm place, they go limp very fast. They will sag. <laughs> carrots will sag. <laughs> Uh, no, nobody wants saggy carnal carrots. So no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and D saying the tater tots tots will say hello. Hello. <laughs> Lacey, yes, I've had grits and I like them. That doesn't ah. mean I want a gallon of sugar in my tea. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, when I make sweet tea, I, I, I think I put half the sugar the uh, recipe calls for. That's, and that's still very sweet. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> okay. What I do love is, what is it called again? An, um, is it Arnold Palmer or something like that? Oh, half tea. Half, 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 half tea, half lemonade. Lemon juice. Well, I do it with lemon juice instead of lemonade that I love. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, and it makes the tea less sweet. <laughs> I like unsweetened tea with with lemon in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it. The unsweetened tea, I would actually dare to put lemonade in it. Mm. But if it's sweet tea, I would just lemon juice. Hmm. Well, that's just tea with lemon. Um, I, yeah, I just, but, but um, delicious. anyone would anyone would go diabetic would become a diabetic when you drink that sweet tea. So much sugar. <laughs> um, I just want to say hi to everyone who joined in late because we didn't say that in about an hour. <laughs> 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 so if you joined us over the course of the past hour, hi, hello. Um, <laughs> this is not your university. This is uh, everything that's wrong. It's our new panel. It's going to take place once a month uh, here. Same time as your university, same place. Um, we don't have like pinned down yet. So we don't know. It's not going to always be the same Sunday in the month, but whenever um, all of us can uh, make it. And um, every time we'll be sitting here bitching about a different like thing that's annoying us. <laughs> and... <laughs> And you get to come and see it, isn't that cool? <laughs> I got a list. You get to come and watch us, like you know, being dicks, like like we like to be. So, um, <laughs> um, if Lacey. you haven't yet, please don't forget to um, hit the thumbs up <laughs> for this video. Ah. 
Um, and um, yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and subscribe to all the other lovely ladies here on the panel. All their mm -hmm. links are in the description box below. Yeah. Check them out. Um, if you're not yet subscribed to them, each of them has their own channel with some wonderful, great content, and each of them also has their own lives yeah. on certain times of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, so come visit them uh, on their lives and Ooh. you know, make who. You know when you reach no. the middle of a yarn ball and you just pull out just that? Yeah. Oh, it's uh -huh. so, so nice. It's like a yarn gasm, right? It just happens. Yeah. Uh, I saw it on I saw it on your face. I saw Sorry. it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's there are very few things that are more satisfying than getting that on the first shot. It's like, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is gonna be a good project. Sorry, Sorry I interrupted you. <laughs> Nothing like, you know. Sticking your fingers into that <laughs> hole and <laughs> pull out gold. Like, whoo, there it is. Out, like, perfect. Out and pulling it out in, in, in one shot. Yes. 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 <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh. So, uh, uh, special you, skills. You don't put the sugar in, but you have to put the tea bags in. She says, um, unsweetened tea. Uh, she tried unsweetened tea, but it tasted like water. So when you make unsweetened tea, you don't put in the sugar, but you do put in the tea bags. <laughs> yeah, you don't just drink water. <laughs> of course you I'll be right it. back. <laughs> you have Wait, I did not get those. <laughs> the instruction was that don't just drink hot water. <laughs> don't put the tea bag in. You gotta put tea bags in there, and sometimes if you make it unsweetened, you might want to put like an extra one in there. I don't know, like <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I thought like putting the tea bag in was a given when making tea. What's the Captain Obvious? That was the joke. They don't ah. put on the side of the box for nothing. Some people need them. Okay. I'm sorry you said it so so with such a straight face that <laughs> I thought someone was really baffled about the making of tea. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that's the case then they have more than that one problem <laughs> <laughs> making tea is the least of the problems perhaps you're killing me <laughs> the instructions are like making tea <laughs> also add a pinch of um, baking soda to your tea oh. why because it brings out the flavor. Ew. Not a lot, so just a little bit, just a pinch. Mm. No, really. Hot or cold tea? When you're making iced tea. Okay. Uh... When you're steeping the tea. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, try it. I think <laughs> it's... <laughs> Ashley's saying you should make that tea in that mug that says drink from the other end. <laughs> what? <laughs> it goes together. <laughs> what does a yarn spindle do? Asks Jean. <laughs> Lori. Oh. Catherine, you want to explain what a spindle does? A spindle? A spindle yeah. is spinning yarn, but not with a wheel, but with a... Sp ah, there you go. But I think someone was talking about the spindle. I can't, I can't remember who it was. Bobby uses this at, uses it as a ball holder. Oh. So um, she doesn't pull from the center, but she... This? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't it, like move around as well the spindle that is does she put the spindle on a bowl i think the bowl on the spindle bobby how do you do it tell us more <laughs> inquiring minds wants to know how do but, you use your spindle but 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 where do you put the spindle do you put it some in something on something do you hang it how how do you use it that's a bit of a personal question kath <laughs> 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 uh, 
I mean, oh. buy a lady a drink before you ask her that. <laughs> That's the lady that just had a, a yarn gasm on camera because she pulled a shot, pulled her thread out in one shot. Yes, I did. So, <laughs> don't tell me you don't feel like that if you do that. <laughs> You'd be lying. I might <laughs> <laughs> take those glasses off and say that again. <laughs> come back exactly. to the witch Don't don't. Let me don't make me get my my nine millimeter. <laughs> We're talking right. jokes, right? Listen, I have a fifty millimeter. So I have a fifty. Get it here. together. <laughs> wait, I also have a, a wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have a twenty. Oh, okay. It's it's like these these rotating uh yarn holders it's not like a spindle for spinning oh, oh so it's not it's not like that kind of spindle it's just a like the yarn holder like thing. you saw lots and lots of yesterday yeah those wait we were in the middle of a measuring contest <laughs> what well, that's all you got i got no i don't have bigger <laughs> I mean, but mine longer. mine is longer Oh boy, what is Kim getting? Yeah, but mine is thicker. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, I'm Kim out. wins. Lynn versus Hold on. Hold on. Which is wins, better? But I also have a, a 20 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now we, we know why Kim has bus. many fridge in her room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, her carrots don't sag. <laughs> now that one is handy and doesn't have that issue. <laughs> oh, good grief. The one without the pointy tip. <laughs> Unlike this one. There's nothing wrong with pointy tails. Do you like Take a pointy bird for your pleasure? We'll go for it. <laughs> If you wait, if you want to really work, you gotta put them like this. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that might be a little bit too much for me. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the naughty corner, everyone. Well, <laughs> this is a yarny channel, I promise. <laughs> so we we're talking about knots, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what she says. <laughs> Uh, for your hooking pleasure. The, <laughs> Crystal is saying Mocha's girth always wins in her book. <laughs> mm. uh, I really, you know, next time we have a subject like, like, um, for your hooking pleasure. With a certain word, I need a bell. Because I need to ring the bell every time we say it. Your hooking pleasure should be all about crochet hooks. I agree. There you go. <laughs> you got the panel silent. We're out of words. That was, yeah. Yeah. Well, now you know that we are. <laughs> Sarita saying we know why you are always smiling. <laughs> mm hmm. Now we know what she's hiding. <laughs> now we know why she likes losing her hooks in her chair. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty hookers Ooh. jokes. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Naughty hookers? No. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I'm getting a nice rosy glow from my day drinking oh <laughs> oh yeah is it is oh. it drinking though it is i don't think the other stuff would make him blush kim's not like no i don't think so uh, you don't know what she's doing uh it would take a lot let's just say <laughs> see i had this was full oh uh, yeah this was also full <laughs> it's almost ridiculous. well so was mine a while ago <laughs> I do think that for the next time we should all come prepare for us with a second. 
with a refill. That's why I like to 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 drink wine, red wine. I can take the bottle up here where it's warm <laughs> and it's no problem. But any cold beverage is a problem. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Um <laughs> Yeah, I have one winner to announce from last week's Yarniversity. Um, I did the random comment picker before we came live so that I won't have to because I don't know StreamYard. So um, the uh, winner from last week, the winner of the mystery bag full of unclaimed prizes is Evelina Lundstrom. Why Why didn't you just give that to me yesterday? I gave you a whole bunch of other stuff yesterday. <laughs> Look at her. Never enough, Kath. Never enough. Hey. No matter how much I give and I give and I give. <laughs> hey, I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was Evelina Lundstrom, which I believe is pronounced that way because she has the umlaut in her name. And I'm not sure. Are you German? Let us know. Are you German? That's the two dots, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, it's like what I have in my name. And um, for the first... Her husband doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's a very funny story. It's, it's, really a, very, funny it's a very story. strange story. Yeah, for another time. But um, yeah, and he always makes fun of me that, uh, that I, I have it in my name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So I don't know how to pronounce my own name. <laughs> you um, can replace the umlaut by putting an E after the vowel. Yeah. So if it's O with an umlaut and it's pronounced U. And Reggie writes her with the O with the umlaut. But um, Dennis, whose name she has, writes it <laughs> O-E, which yes. means the same. But they don't have the same name officially. Neither do the kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so her kids had a different name. Yeah. Oh, that was, a, that was a big, a big it, it was a big pain in the behind when we tried to get them passports. <laughs> oh. oh, I bet. Excuse me, are these your children? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but your children do not have your name. Yeah, oh, you want to hear a funny story about the are these your children? So um, when we saw, we we applied for, to get them because they have dual citizenship and uh, we applied to get them the Israeli passports. Oh, no. um, they wanted proof that they are like that. I gave birth to them, that they are not adopted or anything like that. Do you because want um, in Judaism, it comes from the mother. I, yeah, we're dealing with the, is- the country of Israel, and and it comes from the mother, so I have to be the biological mother for them to have the passports. Okay, yep. so we had to prove that. So in Germany, there is no official like paper that says that I gave birth to them because no if there is a birth certificate, but if it was an adoption, the parents the adopting parents' names Would will be, on, be on the birth certificate and not send them the... the medical bill hmm? send them the medical bill <laughs> yeah so there's an easier solution there's <laughs> there's um uh like the medical um papers from when i was pregnant you know from my from my obgyn with all the like information until from the day that i discovered that i'm pregnant and until i give birth yeah so the problem is <laughs> the problem is that it's like a it's like a book a little booklet but it only has my name on the first page like my details and um on so it doesn't have my name and details on each and every one of the pages uh-uh. so when we sent to the uh to the embassy we only um scanned the the last page in the book with the birth so they will see that, that, that. but it didn't have my name on there <laughs> So they were like, yeah, we can see that the children were born, but we cannot see that you are the one giving birth to them. I was like, oh, do you want grief. me to like Get send you the whole book? Do you want my entire like record from the entire pregnancy so that you will have the name that's in the first page? Or like, what what should I do? Yeah. And they were like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure there are a large number of Israeli citizens who were born in Germany. What do other people do? 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> wow, that's helpful. Yes. <laughs> yep. Eventually, we, yeah, we ended up, like, you know, getting papers from the hospital and everything to show that I was actually the one in, you know, right labor. I mean, yeah. geez, the only other thing you've done is what, you want DNA? What, what do you want here? I hereby nah. declare I saw that little human named blah, blah, come out of the big human named blah, blah. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Oh. They see that look that sounds like something from from like two centuries ago. They see oh, no, it's from the Bible. If you keep if you keep your maiden name, apparently yeah. that will cause lots of troubles. I'm sorry, Torah. What? Has to be from the mom. Yeah, yeah. That's uh that that's the problem with Judaism. Matrilineal I mean. um what do you call it? Descent. Or whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Margaret is saying um, Margaret is saying that for two years in a row her husband and her had to prove that her, their three children were theirs they claimed them on their taxes as dependents and the youngest was five when they asked the first time so for two years in a row they had to prove that the children are indeed theirs oh, in boy. these digital ages that's just ridiculous yeah who has 12 knots? 12 knots? You beat me on the knots. 12 knots in one cake? Nancy yeah. is saying, several years ago when the Sweet Rolls first came out, um, she got that... Uh, she got one that had 12 knots in one cake. Needless to say, that's the last time I got any. Oh, I, t I would never buy one again. I would definitely send my whip and <laughs> finish it themselves. Sorry. That's definitely yeah. not mere yarn. Um, See, that's just ridiculous. 12 knots is really ridiculous. Yeah, I just, I think any, okay. Yeah, that's so I understand um, uh, what you explained, Catherine, with the knots in the yarn that when one, you know, when, when one of the bobbins rip and you have to like, not it right away to keep the um the line going in the factory i get that mm -hmm. but i don't get like that a color ended and they connected the bobbin and the dot totally different color and like yeah. not at that end that i don't get exactly. i agree that is completely unacceptable i, I, think I feel like there when... should be like that some kind they... of basic yeah. product you know that I agree. That should be um, taken off the machine and put into the mill ends. Well, to yeah. comment, I wonder if some of the reason why more knotty yarn is getting through is because of the supply chain issues. Where there's such high demand, they don't have enough output, and so they're just kind of lowering the standards. Yes, I have felt a, a, a very, very strong decrease in quality over the past two years. Mm -hmm. And I do yeah. feel, Gene, that it might be a lot because of the pandemic, because, mm -hmm. you know, you don't get your supply in time, but you still have to get things out of the mill. Um, yep. I get that. But then yarn companies should, like, mm -hmm. recognize that, I feel. I mean, because the price of yarn has increased. So, like, if the, the price have increased and the quality has gone down, that is not, like, a step in the right direction, in my opinion. That's just really, really bad. People are, yeah. like, you know, talking a lot about Michaels and the price increase, right? So yeah. I was Joanne's the other day, and I filmed the three new Big Twist yarns, mm -hmm. and it's, like, ten ninety nine, and the cake, I swear, is this big. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like they had, there's a regular big twist label on it. Yeah. The yarn is not high enough so that when you pick it up, you almost get a paper cut. Really? <laughs> on the label. I'm not even kidding you. It's like the UFOs, like the flat cakes. Uh huh. Well, no, no, not a skinny. It's, it's like this big size comparison. And that yeah. costs 10 bucks. 11. What's Plus, like, what is there something special about it like that one of them is 50 cotton 50 acrylic it looks like that premiere like the one that looks like it's spray painted but it's got yeah. like the kitchen cotton i mean it's not like super soft eh. one is uh number one 
hundred percent acrylic. Mm-hmm. And the other one is, what was the third one? Oh, the third one is like acrylic with a mix because it's got sequins in it and stuff. Yeah. But it was, I was shocked at how small, like not to bag, not to S bag Hobie, but yeah. you see the cakes on the website and then you get them and you're like, huh? Yeah. No, that I, I agree. I was like, these remind me of Hobie cakes just with how tiny they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But again, they were so small. They didn't change the size of the big twist label that it's literally like shorter than the label. That feels like, you know, like when you have a yarn that someone already pulled out a little bit of it and then like it's too small for the label and, and it looks yep. like the label is loose. I mean, don't get me wrong, except for that 50 acrylic, 50 cotton, they're beautiful colors. I would totally buy it, but not for $11 for that. No, label. definitely. <laughs> you know, so, so anyways, that's my, you know. So Sorry basically, to add Joanne's, but well, you know. <laughs> so basically, they're doing what they what they did with the um, with the candy bars, like keep the package as it is, but just make the content smaller. Yeah, exactly. Have more air in the <laughs> add air to the uh, to potato the chip bag. If yeah. I just um... yeah, exactly with the potato chips, just the same thing. The bag is always the same size, but. Yeah. There's less, less and less in if it. If we just wind the cakes more loosely, it'll look like you're getting more, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Lacey, Lacey but, said they need to change the name stuff. to Small Twist. <laughs> <laughs> small Twist. But I, you get extra fun time with untangling your un, your loosely wind case. <laughs> but yeah. they're smaller, so it won't be that bad. You spend the same amount of time on your project <laughs> with less yarn. <laughs> um, Lori says that suddenly the little the um, local yarn sh- uh, stores see, uh, seem more affordable with the stuff Michaels and Joannes are doing. So like the prices are suddenly like increasing on the on the big box yarns that the more high quality yarns don't seem that expensive anymore. There's um, something to be said for that. Yes, Crystal, I agree. I love the plate of cakes as well. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like standards, you know? <laughs> I mean, when you have one company that you see, you know, Catherine, what we saw yesterday in the Yarn Festival, we saw a company that sells cakes that have 2,000 meters in one cake. Oh, that's... And- a- yeah. You say like if there if if that can be done by a small company, why can it be done by the, like the big companies that make you buy two cakes that you will have to alternate so that the color change will still remain like, you know, look the shawl behind me. If I would have used two separate cake and didn't color control, then I had to like have the colors repeat twice. So you have to like two take two cakes and after every color change, cut it, make a knot in the yarn mocha does mine from the other cake and so like color control it while other companies can just make the yarn in 2000 meters like a retail mindset because people will think that it's more cost effective to spend less on each cake yeah then to go, spend ah, more in one X amount of money because it, but it's got like twice the amount of yardage exactly exactly people that's the, ah, you know it's retail one on one and you look at the two cakes and you say mm-hmm. like this one is 28 and this one will cost you, um, let's say 12. Okay. Let's say that two of these will still be cheaper. Okay. But, but then you say, Hmm, I get more in here, but will I pay that extra, you know, um, just a little few more bucks to get a whole 800 meters right. more, or yep. will I buy the two small cakes have 800 meters less and, and like, you have this like in your mind it comes off as cheaper right. whereas like in reality if you divide like cost per meter the bigger cake is actually cheaper yeah but the profit so, margin is so much better on the smaller cakes for the companies yeah for the companies of course that's, that's why they do it yeah don't get the huge things all the time yeah um, i also think there's the psychological thing like when you see a cake for 40 euros you're gonna be like what 40 euros for a cake okay but it's the equivalent of two cakes yeah but, um it's that in your face the 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 price of the large cake 
Um, by the way, Voltraum um, does the 2,000 meter kicks as well. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, yes, exactly. Those are the same kind. Crafty yeah. Heart, uh, they are. The, the reason they uh, remind you it's because it's the same. It's the same case. Um, Nora seems reasonable, says Isela. Um, uh, exactly. Use your uh, buying power. Um, I, I agree, Bobby. I think us as consumers, we need to like, r like raise against this kind of stuff. Same like with companies that have not in their yarns. That's an interrupt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The it's a wrap ones are exactly like the caught the Hobie. Um, what are they called? The lock, not the locks, the Sultan, the regular Sultans, not the Sultan, the locks. Although I yeah. got this for a dollar nineteen, so that is yeah. the price. Nine, Nine at Hobie, you get them for sixteen dollars, seventeen. How much are they costing dollars? I know, I know, I know they cost in in euros. So. But there's only six hundred and twenty three yards, and it's a wrap. So oh, you need for a, like, it's like a cake and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So for the flower valley, you would need three. Hookers unite, says Jana. We <laughs> need to unite yeah. against big box <laughs> schemes. <laughs> um, um, I have a naughty question. Yes. <laughs> how is how do the colors how do they change colors in the it's a wrap are, are they like the tiny little knots in the in the in the small in the thin threads um so what it is is it's the hold on one moment this one is oh, hold on i'm getting older i gotta take off my glasses to look sorry <laughs> so it's four strands and like they change one strand at a time yeah ob cakes mm -hmm. um but yeah it's just a little tiny like knot that you don't even notice when they change the yeah. color one okay strand. Because I don't find but, that annoying because they have to change the color. Yes, yeah. No, but that's what I was gonna ask because the the hippies, the whirls, yeah, it's not with a knot. It's they have their special way of doing it. It's like it's the you know the the the, the fraying the ends and then kind of like felting them together kind of thing, but or with a little dot of glue. I really didn't like it that much because it all you you it was always noticeable. It makes a bump. Yeah. So this it's... is just like the the knot they make on the line. I like the tiny knots yeah. better. Yeah. But also this is like for those that haven't seen it's a wrap. It's tiny. It's basically four strands of like yeah. thread. It's yeah. really really mm -hmm. tiny together. It's, so. it's like unspun. They are See for just... something like that I think a knot is very acceptable. You wouldn't be able to get the color like this is if you didn't have knots in it. Of course, right. and no. but I think that um, that that it, the, those are the cases where I mean the knots are needed. That's what makes the effect of the yarn, right? And, but they do it in a in a like the the way it's made. It's unnoticeable when you yeah. have the, like the final result. You will never see those tiny knots. That's what um, I was saying. Yeah. Whereas with, with, for example, I don't know, the mandala cakes, when you have a knot in a mandala cake, it's that thick that no matter what you do, you have to, like, fight to have it in the back of your work. Yeah. Otherwise, like, it will be so noticeable that you can't get rid of it. Or you change it to a Russian join or some other kind yeah. of thing that you can work I for. Can't. Can you do the Russian join? I can't. I've tried it. Oh, that was a disaster. <laughs> I think it's a it lot so of lumpy. work for it to just join yarn. It was I mean, so lumpy. Which is why I cut my cake in color control and so that all of my knots don't oh, exist yeah. because I end and I end a row and then I go on to the next color. Yeah. I'm not arguing with, with you on that, Mocha. I totally agree that it's the the least headache kind of way of doing yeah. it. Yeah, and also my thing is most of the cakes. I love the colors of the cake. I don't like the order the colors uh, are in. Okay. Yeah, it's like I don't understand how you, you, these four colors are great, but not in the order that you put them in this cake. So I, I have understand. a I have a question for you and for everyone in the chat because I. Um, quite like a few months ago, I would say no, not just a few months ago, about a year ago, I just stopped buying, um, 
cakes that are like that the color change is like immediate i only buy the gradient like the ones that are oh. gradual change the the fade cakes mm -hmm. and um because i feel like exactly what you say like i like the colors in the cake i don't like the order and i would have to color control it anyway because i'm a person that if the color change happens an immediate change and it happens in the middle of the row it will bother me in the eye for the rest of the life so um <laughs> so i would like not but I would prefer to not buy these kind of cakes and buy four different or five or however many I want um, solid balls of yarn. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand, like, why would you still prefer to buy the cakes if it's so much work to, like, separate the colors and do the, you know, or color control it every time? My personal opinion is what am I going to make out of it? Because there's things when, I'll be honest with you, I don't feel like the need to color control like and for me like just because i find or try to find like the biggest bang for my buck as far as bargains like i'll get stuff mill ends i'll get stuff whatever am i gonna make a rug out of it like then i don't care because usually i'm holding like two three strands together anyways yeah but i want to make a shawl you better damn well believe i'm spending more money on that yarn so it's not effed up yeah so no, I, mean, I agree a concern you know see for me Okay, like, if you look at the shawls that are behind me, I definitely have a palette that mm -hmm. I am attracted to. Yeah. So every once in a while, I, I, I'm feeling froggy and I want to work with other colors. So I'm going to buy the cakes that have those colors I want to work with at the time being, mm -hmm. knowing that if I bought individual skeins, skeins of those colors, once I'm done with that project, I'm not going to use them. Oh, yeah. They're okay. going to sit someplace or just not get used. So I buy the cakes in those odd colors that I only use once in a while and it yeah. kind of be color control them that way. Cuz otherwise, well, yeah, I've I've got a palette. <laughs> okay, I get it. For sure. I understand. Um but see, but that's the that is something you can do with with the cakes where there's um kind of an abrupt color change but not with the really fady ones right yeah exactly i like the really fady ones oh those i'd never cut because there's just really no logical way to cut them at all well yeah there's the point, point is you don't <laughs> huh with those the point is you don't yeah exactly. <laughs> no, i was um, talking about like the uh whichever one it is that they're abrupt i get them all confused yeah but <laughs> all the names <laughs> Um, Jess is saying she only likes the gradient fade cakes. She either don't like the order of the colors or the way they transition. That being said, it doesn't bother me with socks. Oh, her. Okay. It doesn't bother me um, with sock yarn that's actually being used. Okay. Yeah. Um, I understand. I mean, um, I feel like in knitting, it's also less noticeable. Is that, I mean... I feel like in knitting, uh, when you use that kind of cakes or skeins where the change is up, uh, uh, like immediate and not great, like not fade into, like not the colors don't fade into each other. I think in knit it's less noticeable than in crochet. Yeah, it's true. I agree because um, your stitches take up less yarn. Yeah, exactly. So they they kind of spread out over more stitches. Don't knit, don't have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, Meredith is saying she's basically done. Oh man, the comments keep jumping on me. I don't like StreamYard. Um, she said she's basically done the same thing. Uh, the one reason she would go with a cake is if she only needs a smaller amount and getting five skeins would be way too much. So too expensive, I, I guess you say. Um, Jess is saying uh, the abrupt changes and some of the odd color combination in commercial cakes is why she dyes her own yarns because she doesn't like that. Uh, I agree. I also have uh, like a, I have a real problem with with those color changes. Um, you can't always get the colors you want, says Eileen. Um, I just go for the patterns where a certain color change. Uh, doesn't matter if I'm not uh, wanting the color co to color control. 
I also feel sometimes like when you use one of those cakes and you color control and you cut off like yarn, like, right? Because like you have this much left and you know that next row it's going to change. So you cut it. I don't know. I, I, it's hard for me to do. I, <laughs> like say, well, I always feel like I'm wasting. So yeah. Much like wasting too much yarn. I agree. Yeah. But then again, if you have leftovers, do you ever use them? No, Reggie doesn't because she doesn't like scrappy projects. <laughs> uh, I, it's not that I don't like. I'm not, I just, I'm not good at it. I don't know what to do with scrappy projects. She makes really cool stuff with it and then she doesn't like him. Yeah. And she, she frogs <laughs> them. I love scrappy projects. They're some of my favorites. Maybe I'll just send Kim all my scraps and then Ooh. like... They won't okay, so um, we're sending Ashley all our tangled messes, and we're sending Kim all I'm, our. Wait, let's start a list. I need to send <laughs> tangled yarn. I need to send all these. Send... What? That's all to... tangled yarn. This is all the um, darn good yarn I just look at and don't use. Oh, okay. <laughs> poor, why, poor do, yarn. why do you not? Use, gonna use, it. Why do you not thing? use it? Um, because initially when I signed up like two years ago, it was just one cake per thing. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have a lot of yarns that like, what can you do with that? With just one cake. Right. So now you can get three if you wanted to. Three. Yeah. That's why Back that then. was the reason I stopped my subscription with them too. One. Yeah. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> you see this? Yeah. This is almost all from darn good yarn. There you go. It's in a tote. Entire you bed. have the problem I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like, we're you do like one skein, and you're like, "What am I doing with this?" Yeah, you know? and they also like they had they they had like one skein patterns in there. I actually I think I have one of their pattern booklets here because I just found it um the other okay. day when I was cleaning but, up but the room. Were they good patterns? No, that's what I was gonna say. That they had like these one skein patterns, but they were not good patterns like not ones that you see oh i want to make, make that <laughs> oh i don't want to make that no yeah <laughs> sorry oh, that's hilarious are they good pa patterns no <laughs> Congratulations. this is what i've made with some of the darn good yarn so i love that mocha oh, that's cute i love that just because i got tired of looking at all of it i'm like i want to figure out a way to use some of this together somehow yeah to justify the fact that I bought it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I paid money for this. This should, like, be used for something. Yeah. Justify yeah. my yarn. I mean, okay, we have a... <laughs> the reason they're all together over there is because I'm in the middle of deep cleaning my yarn, which I do, like, every spring. Yeah. So I pulled them out of the drawer, and I'm like, well, maybe I should just stare at them because they're beautiful. And they they are. They, and they are. smell it's good. Like, they can be a decorative item in your... Oh, okay, okay, yesterday. So I got to... Now that since we said that. Oh. So yesterday at the yarn festival, uh -oh. there were like... Um, there was a stand where the yarn was wound up in, in balls. Um, but they were like... It was a gradient yarn and it was wound up in balls. So the ball from the outside kind of looked like... A, I don't know how to explain it, Kat. Maybe you can help. Like it had this, if like I really... would know what you're talking about. The one, <laughs> the, the, the one ones the... that were in the bowl. Yeah, the the, the... yeah, they are they are wound in like the 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 yarn is like a ribbon of a few like an inch next to each other, and then yeah. they switch like ninety degrees, and then they wind another ribbon of that yarn, and it looks like. These Japanese needle yeah. pointed balls. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And, but out. that was just like how the yarn was wound. That was like the yarn ball. Neat. And then they had them all, they pretty. had like this very big bowl on the table and they had all the balls in there. It's, it looked like, you know, this is a fruit bowl that instead of fruit it has yarn balls in it. It was like a, a decorative a, item. Is that it's your a ball bowl? Yeah, it's a ball bowl. Do you have that in your video? No. Um. No. I was already like we were already on the way out. Like uh. it was on the way out after we went through everything, and then we saw it like on the way out, and and I was like, oh my god, this is like a this is this is like a decorative item, you know? Like instead of having a fruit bowl on your table in your right. living room, like have a yarn bowl full of yarn balls. <laughs> it's, 
it's like this. It's so pretty. I know I don't want to use it, right? Like that's beautiful. Yeah, oh, that's art mm-hmm. yarn. Like it's that's art yarn. Yeah, it's uh, made in Nepal, hundred percent silk. I was gonna say, is it sari? Uh, yeah, silk? sari silk. Exactly. That's how you should wear it. I yes. know. I should just like put it on a headband like this. Hello. Yes. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. no, no, no. We don't talk. About... <laughs> ah, see. <laughs> um, Jesse's saying the part of her stash that bothers her is the single skein part. There isn't enough to work. Uh, to do what I want and uh, it isn't just a little to do something scrappy. Mm. So while I'm cleaning all this, and I'll go through all this in a video later, but I actually decided just to put I have like collapsible boxes that I got at Dollar Tree and they go way up on the top of my shelf and Mm -hmm. I put all my single skeins of cotton in one and I have two with single skeins of acrylic. So if I find a single whatever I can just pick those out and use them as opposed to, I know I had this somewhere on the shelf. Where is it? Yeah. So I think that'll help me to use that this year with that strategy. Yeah. So whenever you have something that's like a one ball or yeah. one skein project, you can just grab right away from your, whatever from I have one yeah. skein of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm having now with the yarn club, I am really like putting my thinking cap on for designing one skein project so yep. that because every month with the yarn club, I'm sending out two patterns and I am like, I don't want it to be the same patterns. Obviously, I don't want people to have a month after month after month of beanie or cow. So I'm really like, struggling to find ideas for things that you can make with just one skein and i'm actually kind of enjoying that you know that um being creative and thinking of different things that you can do with just the one skein of yarn um and i feel like there's not enough of those out there it's nice it's very pretty another nepali recycled silk yarn i have (laughs) will they not work together or do they not look alike uh, one of them is more purple than the I other. Know. And I also have this one, which I need to rescan because it's kind of a hot mess. But I wonder how many knots these have in them. Oh, these have a lot because this is the hot mess this is. Oh. <laughs> I put it aside to fix it and I just haven't yet. But <laughs> Send it to Ashley. I mean, that's pretty. Look at the, the orange and... Yeah, I really the like that. There. Yeah. And this is something I got from a... Uh, an advertisement on my mom's high rise bulletin board, and I paid a dollar for this. Wow. Wow. Mm hmm. That's not bad. And this one. These were each a dollar each. What a steal, right? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, Judy saying uh, that's what she likes. Um, CJ Brandy patterns so much. Lots of one skein patterns on that. Oh, yeah. Um, she showed it on her. Uh, on her video, I think it was two weeks ago. DJ um, she Brady. showed a few a few things that she've made from um, that designer, and she linked also to her page where you can find her patterns. And he has quite a few one skein. Hmm. Uh, granted, I think most of them are one skein of fingering weight, so you get like a a long yardage. But still, um, I have to go look at that. Yeah. Ashley saying she wants it. She would even send it back. <laughs> Let her anta- untangle it for you. <laughs> Ashley, I'm telling you, you can start a very good business um, if you do the, like, um, send me your tangled skeins. and I will untangle it and send them back to you. Mm-hmm. I think you can, yeah, you can make good money. What? Kath, you're <laughs> muted. Are you muted on, on purpose? Oh, Kath. Yeah. I don't. What's going on? My computer is deciding to mute me. <laughs> You've reached. I don't know. Kind of You've reached your, <laughs> yeah, he's reached his limits. It's like I can't listen to that girl anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> if only people had mute buttons. <laughs> I yeah, want to tell me about it. Go like and click. Yeah, or fast forward. I know some people who can benefit from fast forward. (laughs) Listen, I don't want to make this sound like I'm a horrible person, but one of the best things to come out of the pandemic 
was being able to mute my students. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You're acting ridiculous. <laughs> so, see, that's a difference because I, like, I don't have that problem because I am a horrible person. So I don't know why I can't <laughs> like people that <laughs> mute. Like... <laughs> well, keeping in um, mind that my students have special needs, so that's why I say don't make it sound like I'm a horrible person. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I can totally, totally get that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but definitely a fast forward button for people who never get to the point. Yeah. On the other, on the other hand, Kim, what they can also they could also um, mute you and uh, <laughs> instead of the camera. <laughs> Well, you know, if they turn off their camera and leave, I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> their family does. True. There's someone else's Sorry. problem. Someone <laughs> else's problem. <laughs> My bad. True. All, All right. right. Um, guys, we are at two minutes, two hours. So I think um, this was a nice first time. It was. Yeah. And it I was have... um, a soft subject yeah i didn't want to start right away with you know people having emojis on their yeah yeah let's not <laughs> wait, wait, wait wait emojis on their on their what so what you're saying is anyway. for next time guys <laughs> yes we have we have more we have more <laughs> we'll have more people have emojis on strong emotion <laughs> Also, which emojis? <laughs> so many ways in, in, in which you can end that sentence. <laughs> right. um, wait, um, Crafty Heart is saying she has this gorgeous skein that is tangled. It's on year two and I won't get rid of it because I love it. I'm determined to get it untangled. Well, um, good luck with that. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Des is saying she wants a button that lowers the tone of someone's voice. Oh, um, she would change all female cartoon voices to baritone. Oh yes. Oh my goodness! It didn't. Oh, cartoon voices—they are so annoying. You know what's even worse? People who do video games on YouTube and they're like, "Hey, how's it going?" I'm like. <laughs> Okay, but you choose to watch it. I don't choose to. My kids do, and it's like an ice oh, yeah. in my ear. I know these. Ear, my, sure. my, I think our kids watch the same one. I'm sure they do, because again, we lead parallel lives, right? Yes. Okay, well, see? <laughs> so, that, do like I do. Put it on, like, half speed. <laughs> oh, and my then, God. Uh, <laughs> no, when it's that high-pitched, and you put it on half speed, they sound normal. Oh, that's an idea. I do it to my granddaughter all the time. Oh. It, only, it only takes you five hours to watch that video now. But it's not driving me crazy in the meantime. Yes. yes. True. How old is your granddaughter, Mocha? Uh, seven. Well, she'll be eight in August. Uh, we we need to have a play date. <laughs> Same age. As my daughter. Yarn and play date. Like they, they can play. We can yarn. <laughs> She'd be all for it. She's got a better intro and outro than I do. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So thank I want to thank all of you for joining me today and being on our panel. Um, I I hope that yeah you all had fun watching us. Um, and if not, you know, you could just turn us off like nobody's holding a gun to your head what are you doing here all right so um <laughs> it's a dictatorship they have to be here <laughs> they have to be here it's a dictatorship right We're just we took notes on who wasn't here <laughs> we, we saw you but there's a knock um, on your door tomorrow don't be surprised <laughs> <laughs> If they are not here next week, it's because we made them Excuse disappear. <laughs> not the men in, it's not the men in black, it's the men in wool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the men in wool will have a terrible time during the summer season. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that would be a terrible organization to be a part of if you I live don't know. in the there desert. Are some, uh, there are some open patterns that could work. It's pretty good. <laughs> They're wearing well mustaches. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Like Jenna says. We should all do this and someone needs to take a screenshot and that would be our... Uh, no. Uh, I think YouTube I might think I'm a bypass that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I, I as a Jewish person, no. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not trying to offend you. All what? I can say I'm is not trying to offend you. Sorry. No, all no, I can that say was... is don't mention the war. <sighs> hey, yeah. See, that's a European thing. It's uh, faulty towers. Don't mention uh, the war. I love that show. <laughs> I'm so uh, faulty towers. That's okay. No. We can talk until like <laughs> two weeks from now. Um, but I'm I'm so glad everyone could join us today and like totally roll with this strange uh, format. And um, I hope that you guys will all uh, join us again next month. Um, someone has to explain to me how. Uh... <laughs> I'm still back on the emojis. I want to say, hi. I want to say uh, thanks for having us, Reggie. Yes. Yes, thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, I, I had fun. Like, immediately. And also, by the way, I wanted to say, yeah, um, like um, Jenna says, they had to be here because I have a 9 millimeter. <laughs> so okay. someone did have something to their head. Yeah. Exactly. So, okay, now I'm shutting up. Uh, how do I... If I press end broadcast, does this end the broadcast? You're not <laughs> end broadcast. The they, you, you're ending the broadcast, but we'll still be on screen. Uh -huh, but not live. Okay. Well, then, everyone, thank you all very, very much thank for you. watching us today. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Subscribe down below and then go and subscribe to all of these lovely ladies. Um, their links are in the description box. And um, yeah, I will be here again next week alone. For your new oh, oh. <laughs> It'll be weird. It will. It will be so weird. Um, but thank you all for joining me today and not leaving me alone in my room that is also empty. Mocha's doggy is so yarn in it anymore. crying for you. Oh yeah, yeah he's feel he is oh, feeling okay. my pain. <laughs> feeling it. Marley, right. <laughs> all right, so bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye. bye.